Hi everyone and welcome for this uh, last section of the day one of the technical stage. Um, we are happy uh, to have you with us until the end of the day. I hope you are enjoying the conference. Um, today to finish uh, this uh, last part of the agenda, we wanted to talk about a, a topic that is dear to API days. We're going to talk about sustainability. Um, the reason why uh, we decided to bring this topic, uh, we're going to explain it with the next four speakers, actually. Uh, but long story short, uh, you will see and uh, you will understand that uh, our IT industry um, is have a, an, exponen an exponential impact to the climate change um, as we speak and it's going to be worse and worse in the coming years. So we decided to take action with API Days and uh, bring the community to work with us on um, things we can do to uh, basically uh, reduce uh, the impact we can have uh, collectively uh, to uh, the environment. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome on stage the first speaker of uh, this track. Um, his name is uh, Nicolas Drouet. Nicolas is the founder of uh, Greenet.io. And Greenet.io is uh, basically a web application that you can uh, use to understand and me measure the CO2 emission and uh, the impact of your website. Um, and uh, get recommendation and notification on how to uh, how to make your impact better. Hi, Nicolas. Hi, Yuri. Thanks for the intro. Hi, everyone. Thanks. Uh, the floor is yours for the first talk. Uh, and uh, while Nicolas is presenting, feel free to ask questions about sustainability in the chat. We're going to be monitoring the chat and uh, do a five-minute Q&A at the end. Thanks, Ori. So, hi, everyone. As Uri said, I will talk about IT sustainability, and I will talk about our, our initiative in France uh, with Happy Days, which is called Sustainable Digital Challenge. So, first of all, I'm Nicolas, and I'm from France. So, uh, let me share my screen. OK, so first thing first, let me introduce myself. So, I'm Nicolas. Um, I'm an entrepreneur a product manager, and as I like to say, a green hacker. I'm the founder of Greenet.io. Greenet.io is a, is a web ap application to measure and reduce his, our carbon footprint when we uh, navigate on the uh, on internet. I'm the co-founder co and co-organizer of Happy Days Sustainable IT Challenge, which I will present right now. And I'm also the founder of a startup called The Green Companion. And The Green Companion is an online education platform for green IT. So I will start to talk about um, climate change. And then I will present you the challenge. So let's start with the climate change. As you know, climate change is a real big problem. And uh, the temperature has increased very fast in the let's say, 20, 30 previous years. On this slide, as you can see, there is an increase uh, before 2000. And actually, the let's say the temperature is around plus 1.1 degree uh, Celsius on the planet. It's an average. Just um, to, to make some comparison, few thousand years ago, it, it was five degrees colder on the planet. And the ice covered almost all of Europe, including France. It was only five degrees colder. So I let you imagine what would happen if we reach five degrees uh, more. On this slide, as you can see, unfortunately, the, the climate change will accelerating very fast in the coming years due to the industrialization. So scientists have made some prediction about the evolution of temperatures in the coming years, according to several scenarios or scenarios. Actually, as I said, we are at 1.1 uh, degree Celsius. 
um, in 2019. And as you can see on this slide, there is three main scenarios. The scenarios are called RCP, for example, RCP 8.5, meaning that we will go up to plus 8.5 degrees in average on the planet. Um, the problem is that if we do not, um, let's say, reduce our carbon footprint, the business as usual scenario will go up to eight degrees um, in the coming years and will go up to five degrees in 2100, meaning that our children will have five degrees more on the planet. If you remember previously, I said that a uh, thousand years ago on the planet, um, the temperature was five degrees colder and there was ice everywhere on the planet. So it's really, really a big issue. And that's why we want to, to reach, let's say, the, the maximum threshold of plus two degrees on the planet. So we will have, let's say, we will have troubles and, uh, and, and uh, problems of climate change, but it will stay, let's say, Earth will stay, uh, uh, we can live on the Earth with two degrees. With five degrees, honestly, we will have a problem. Uh, let's talk about digital. Digital pollution is accelerating the, uh, even faster. So that's why we need to think about IT sustainability. Last year, and let's say before COVID, uh, IT pollution, meaning IT carbon footprint, was higher than plane all over the world. It was around 4% of carbon footprint or, or greenhouse gas, um, which is over plane. If we stay like that, let's say if we follow the business as usual scenario, we, we should go up to 8% in 2025, so in a few years, which is higher than cars. So if we do not, if we do not reduce uh, the digital footprint, digital will, let's say, will uh, pollute more than cars all over the world. That's why we want to reach, let's say, a sustainability scenario, which will go up only to 5% of greenhouse gases. How we can do that? Honestly, it's quite difficult. We need to reduce our carbon footprint, our greenhouse gases, not only on usage, but also on manufacturing. So as you can see on this slide, um, there is a split, a percentage between manufacturing and usage. And uh, greenhouse gas, as you can see on this slide, are mainly coming from the user part. Meaning, uh, user part means laptop and smartphones. Uh, the manufacturing, of course, is, uh, is the main part of the impact, but usage is, is almost, uh, let's say, usage is, is quite important. And as you can see on this slide, manufacturing is mainly due to user equipment and usage is shared between user network, for example, 4G, 5G, and data centers. So we need to act not only on manufacturing, but also on usage. And we need to uh, create sustainable softwares. That's why we have launched a challenge with API Days locally in France and in Europe. Um, this challenge, as you can, as you will see, is a kind of hackathon to help uh, tech companies to reduce their carbon footprint and look for uh, return on investment on digital sustainability. Reduce is carbon footprint sometimes is quite uh, difficult in large company because we don't see uh, benefit as a short term uh, impact. 
our goal with the challenge is first of all to let's say educate the IT industry, uh, not only the tech guys but on load, uh, also the business guy, and uh, and help them to share to to learn uh, best practices to reduce software footprint. We want also to share some uh, indicators, some KPIs around digital sustainability, so you can follow, let's say, a, a, a carbon footprint program in every company. And uh, last, we want to, uh, let's say, to create a community, a community of tech um, people and business people also, to share our, uh, let's say, our uh, ambition to reduce digital footprint. The challenge, uh, we, we, we have started this challenge in 2020, and uh, we just finished the second edition of this challenge. The second ed edition of this challenge was uh, include 13 teams. It was almost 100 people during three months, and each team was composed of uh, product owner, product manager or designer, but also architects and developers. So all the team participate to all workshops. And uh, I'm presenting you this uh, challenge because with Happy Days, we want to, to share this initiative and we want to reproduce it all over the world. Uh, for Happy Days uh, people. Let's talk about the agenda of this challenge, uh, what we are doing during three months with the team. Uh, our, our objective, in fact, in this uh, challenge is to explain how you can start to think about uh, reducing your digital footprint and how you can define your KPI. So based on your project, we will help uh, companies to to define their objective, and we will uh, we will help them with mentors to reach this objective during three months. Uh, on the impact objective, we will help them to understand how we can measure the impact. Honestly, um, in two thousand and twenty one. It's quite difficult to measure impact of your uh, software or your digital application, but we have a lot of tools that are coming. So we share all the tool on the market and we explain how you can use it to, to have, a, let's say, an estimation of your impact on data center, network, and user equipment. And last, we, we help teams to share their project internally or externally because we want to create a community and we want to we want to create green ops guy or green hat guy as you want so in fact teams from the work from the challenge will spread the the best practice all over their company or outside their company we hope so to do that, we have created uh, some workshop, some webinars. Um, it's, it's more workshop than webinars because teams are working together with mentors. There, we have, there is some, uh, some, some uh, let's say, some explanation, but also some uh, exercise, some ideation, stuff like that. And workshop are split between, let's say, items. The first item is product design. So in this first workshop, we explain all the best practices in terms of uh, UX, UI, how you can reduce your, fo your footprints, your footprint, sorry, based on um, best practices. The second one is uh, based, is tailored for uh, data management and architecture. So how you can measure your, uh, carbon footprint in your data center. Um, for example, in your cloud architecture, how you can think about your footprint in your cloud data center. The third one is dedicated to code. So 
we explain the impact of uh, coding. Is there any difference between code? For example, uh, uh, is there any difference between uh, JavaScript and, uh, I don't know, uh, React, for example, or, uh, or C++? And how you can reduce your footprint when you are a software developer? So we talk about we talk a lot about language, but also about APIs or stuff like that. Then we have a workshop on hardware because, as you see previously, um, manufacturing of hardware, let's say, is the the big part of the of the impact. So we need to take care of the hardware, even if we are software developers. For example, we need to ensure that our software is, is light, uh, can be used on every, let's say, every smartphone, even a smartphone that are five or six years uh, older, old. Uh, we, we really need to take care of hardware from a software perspective. And last, uh, uh, last, we talk a lot about, about regulation and taxes because in Europe, things are coming in terms of uh, sustainability regulation for IT people. So we should have law in France and in Europe very soon this year or next year about digital sustainability. And, and I believe that uh, regulation will come all over the world because the, let's say, the, the big players are, are moving to this direction. Uh, I did not talk about our sponsor, but on this challenge, the main sponsor is Google Cloud. And, and Google Cloud is doing a lot of things to reduce their footprint in their data center. This is an example of big players that are, uh, let's say, that are that are moving into the right direction. Uh, uh, let me talk about the teams. So um, this is the, let's say, the composition of teams for the European challenge. But if we, if we, um, if we will make uh, a sustainable challenge in Singapore or, or uh, everywhere else, I think that the, the challenge can be composed by the same kind of teams. And teams are coming from scale up or large company. Um, ONG, I don't know the, the English term, sorry for that, but I think it's a non profit organization and, um, and government. So, why you can ask me why we decided to, uh, let's say, to uh, reach this kind of teams, this is because they have big impact. Scale-up and large company have today a, a, a big impact. They have thousands of uh, users all over the world. So that's why we want to help them to reduce their footprint because we will have an impact doing that. Last year, we had some uh, small startup. Uh, so we help small startup to reduce their footprint. It's, let's say, it's a, a good thing, a good start. But at the end of the day, they do not have thousands of users. So the impact is quite limited to their audience. Um, when you think about reducing the digital footprint, I, I invite you to think about, uh, let's say, first thing first. So start with, with what will bring the most saving. So that's why, um, let's say, targeting large company is a good thing or targeting large project is a good thing. And in large project, you need to, to let's say, you need to think about where you can act to have the more impact uh, as a short-term uh, objective. Uh, so last slide, and I think I'm in time. My last slide is just to, uh, let's say, invite you to uh, maybe watch the, let's say, the, the final webinar for this European challenge. 
Uh, we will do that in a few weeks. So I think you can you can watch this uh, webinar to uh, to get more info on this challenge and see if you want to participate um, in the coming uh, months or year on the Happy Days Challenge, maybe in Singapore or everywhere. And uh, I invite you to to connect with Happy Days Guy to uh, to to work on this digital uh, sustainability topic because we we really need to do that to reduce our uh, let's say our footprint of the planet. So. Thanks for your uh, attention. I think uh, you will join us for the Q&A yes. session. And uh, thank you, Nicolas, for this presentation of the challenge. Uh, very impactful. A few questions for you. And just before I uh, start with my first question, I just wanted to follow up on what you just said. Um, if uh, the Singapore community at API Days is interested to follow this uh, 2021 edition of uh, the Digital Sustainable Challenge that we just finished, actually, um, there will be this, the award ceremony on May 6th. Um, it's going to be on French time zone, on European time zone, but it might be the evening for Southeast Asia, I'm, I'm assuming. So we uh, we can always share the link uh, if you want to register and attend. And 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 anyway, this uh, session will be recorded and uh, will be accessible after the, the event. Talking about the challenge, here is my first question for you, Nicolas. What kind of teams? I mean, what kind of project have you seen at the at the challenge and who can who can participate? Hmm. Yeah, good question. In fact, I, I talk about the teams. I did not talk about the project. So we we open the challenge to every IT project. So we have uh, let's say we have a front project like uh, internet website. We have back office project. We have APIs. In fact, every project, every IT project can can think about his own footprint and need to think about his own footprint. Okay, great. Okay. And um, any companies, uh, meaning, um, my understanding is that the most important uh, impact in terms of CO2 emission is hardware. So uh, for, for big companies, we're talking about the big data center behind cloud application and website. Um, how does company can have like a leverage on their cloud provider or if they own their private cloud, how can they work on like uh, measuring and optimizing their, their infrastructure. Yeah, the, in fact, uh, there is a lot of thing to do with your cloud provider. As I said, cloud providers are moving into the right direction. The, the market is not so mature, but there is a lot of initiative. For example, Microsoft Azure uh, has launched uh, a sustainability uh, calculator. So on your Azure infrastructure, you can have uh, an estimation of your carbon footprint. Um, Google is doing a lot of things also. Amazon, a little less. I didn't hear a lot of uh, things. And if you have your own uh, or your on-premises data center, you can use some tool to monitor, uh, let's say, your, uh, your uh, electricity consumption and electric cons electricity means carbon footprint. So you can start to, uh, to measure your impact. It's, it, as I said, it's coming and it will be, uh, I, I, I believe and I hope it will be more efficient in the coming years, but you can start to do things. Okay, thank you. So I understand that the first step is really trying to measure to the, the uh, CO2 emission impact of our infrastructure, right? Um, so that's the first step. Second step is, is basically to understand the uh, the nature of the electricity 
that the infrastructure will consume, correct? Um, so yeah. is there ways for, so, so should IT people try to connect with uh, energy provider at their companies to understand the mix? Uh, are energy providers able to give uh, a sense of the different type of energy that they're providing to their customers? Yeah, yeah, in fact, uh, as you said, and as I said previously, carbon footprint is linked to uh, energy mix or uh, uh, source of electricity. I invite you to, 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 um, to visit electricitymap.org, which is an open source tool. It's a map of uh, electricity impact all over the world. So uh, if you are coming from Singapore or from France, you can see what is your, uh, let's say, your uh, footprint uh, from electricity. If your electricity, for example, is coming from uh, nuclear power, as we have in France, it's a kind of low carbon emission. There is other problem with nuclear, but for carbon footprint, it's a good thing. And for example, if you are in China, there is a lot of, uh, of um, uh, sorry, I, I missed the word. Coal, of coal. Uh, coal. Yeah. Yeah, there is a lot of uh, coal. So uh, the carbon footprint of electricity is very high. So that's why the, the footprint is based on your location or your data center location also. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Map.org. And there is an API for that CO2 oh. signal. And, and maybe we can try to put the link on the chat uh, of, of the conference while, while we are uh, jumping to the next question. So ba basically, the, the, whole, the whole sustainability problem in the IT industry relies on the energy mix of, let's say, the data center. Now, uh, it is all related to how hardware is consuming electricity. And basically, we can easily understand that hardware will consume more if our software are more demanding, basically, right? So yeah. um, how can, uh, what is the first approach in terms of like design uh, or architecture or, or data management in order to try to understand how to make your software lighter, basically? In fact, the, the, the main Let's say we have a lot of uh, leverage when we are in the, let's say, design or, uh, or uh, starting phase. So mm -hmm. if you are product manager, designer, uh, manager, or architect thinking about a product, you have a lot of leverage uh, because our objective is to make, a, let's say, a frugal software. Yeah, low, low carbon that, or low uh, calorie. No, uh, yeah, yeah, low calorie uh, uh, software, meaning that you you can uh, you can reduce your footprint by reducing not only let's say the image size, for example, but a lot of things like uh, reducing the number of features, the number of uh, of uh, component in your website, for example, and 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 uh, for example the. Let's say internet has growing very fast in the in the previous year. Today, uh, a web page is around two megabytes, and it was uh, zero point five five years ago. So, mm -hmm. uh, software is eating the world, but now software is uh, obese, obese, <laughs> obese. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so is it? Uh, so basically, the key is really to start. To, uh, talking to products and uh, designers on how they how on how they think and design new products. Is it easier to start from scratch with uh, new products and services, or is it possible for for IT teams to like uh, rethink existing project uh, in production? As always, uh, rethink and refactoring is a little bit harder, but it's you can do a lot of things by refactoring or improving uh, your existing software. So, so if you start a new project, 
start it by thinking about a footprint. And if you have an existing project, start to think how you can improve it because we need to reduce uh, year after year our uh, mm -hmm. footprint. So after the digital transformation, we should talk about the green transformation of the IT, right? <laughs> right. In parallel, after in, you yeah. think about yeah, digital transformation and green transformation in the same time. At, at the same time. At the same, yeah. time. At the same time. Perfect. We we have uh, put the link of electricitymap.org in the in the chat uh, for those who are interested to learn more about it. Uh, it's pretty cool, basically. Um, even Google Cloud is a is a customer of electricitymap.org. Uh, Electricity Map will map out the different the energy mix uh, country by country. And basically, for a cloud provider like Google, they have different data centers uh, in multiple countries. And uh, Google Cloud will try to basically uh, uh, get from Electricity Map the data on where the uh, energy is the greenest. Uh, let's put it this way, and then allocate um, processing and computing to those data centers to try to optimize uh, the green energy mix of yep. uh, data center consumption, which is pretty cool. And, and because we are in a Happy AI conference, uh, I put the link on CO2 Signal, which is the Happy AI based on Electricity Map. So oh, if okay. you want uh, Electricity Map on a let's say on a large project, you can use this API. All right. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, awesome.